When it comes to drones, nothing really beats that sweet FPV chase footage. Some of those shots are absolutely amazing, but if you've ever tried it, you know it is far more difficult than it looks. So today, we're gonna to go through our top five tips, Steve in the background, and I'll be coaching him so you can see exactly how someone who doesn't practice these, what the chase footage starts out like, but by applying these five techniques, you can end up with some results like this. Yeah, this is a good lap, dude. I'm going to teach you how to be like an expert chase footage puller, right? Yeah. We're going to we're going to upskill you in a very short amount of time. I haven't had much luck in this. No, you haven't. No. But you haven't had this wonderful coaching. So what <laughs> we're going to do? We're going to get a baseline. We're going to do a pack. We've got two five-inch quads here. Very, very capable performance machines. We're going to cruise around. And for this one, this is flight number one. Your job is just to follow me. Now you might be thinking, uh, what is this flight? And you're absolutely correct. This is so important for you to see. This is the baseline before you implement these five five easy to follow tips. And and it really is going to like Steve here. This is an absolute zero in terms of a score, but you'll see when you implement those five tips, it is infinitely better and so easy too, uh, just if you follow along. So All right, Steve. So straight away, we had some issues. I know what they were, but what did you find tricky? I was following you when I got out just over the water off to my right hand side. Yep. I didn't see anything. Could you see me? No. Nah. Do you know where I was going? I knew last time I saw you, you were going that way. Okay. No. This is where I'm going to tell you my biggest tip and this this is number one If you're going to be doing some chase footage the first tip that you need to do is communicate and a little bit of planning yeah. So we need to know which way we're going to be going and as we're flying like when I took over the water It was really hard for me not to communicate on where I'm going and just think oh yeah Steve can follow me But when you're trying to chase me and spot for me and focus on your flying like it is really hard to yeah. see when video is the best of times, let alone if you're gonna get some dropouts or anything like yeah. that. So you need to have a plan and some very clear communication. So this time we're gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna talk a little bit more. Okay, all right, so Steve, I am plugged in. I'm gonna be ready to go. Are you gonna be ready to go? Last right. time I just took off without communicating. It's flight number two. All right. So I'm just taking off. I'm gonna to go to where we went left before. Yeah. And I'm gonna just slowly cruise around here to the left. Tell me when you're on me. Yeah, I'm on you. All right, we're just going to go for a little bit through here. How's this speed for you? Yeah, it's all right. All right, don't clip me over this water. I'm going to bank left, and we're going to go around that tree that's near this open pond, open dam over here. Do a hard left behind that. Now, just to shorten this down for you guys so you don't have to watch the entire thing before we get to the next tip, I want you just to focus on, look how much I'm communicating with Steve here. So I need him to talk a little bit back to me, and we will talk about that in the future, but like I'm talking about where I'm going, which turns I'm doing, checking the speeds, all that communication is absolutely critical. But you can still see Steve's footage. It's getting better, like he is tracking me a little bit more, but we've got some great things we can do once we're communicating to make it look even better. Ready? so how did you find that with just a bit of communicating? First, was, the first time? Yeah, much better. Yeah, much better. I think, and it's important to talk about your speed, where you're going to be going, your orientations, all that sort of mm -hmm. stuff. And constantly checking in too with the person who you are chasing, like how good is this speed? Is Do I need to speed up? Can you still see me? Yeah. So me as the lead pilot can also adjust my, I guess, frame yeah. to how you can frame your shot. Yeah. Um, the next tip that I'm going to give you, when you are cruising, you need to worry not so much about getting me in shot. It is more about having your line. So mm -hmm. if there's a turn coming up, focus on you just completing that turn and you just holding your line and my drone if we're in sync will probably be doing the same thing if you're focusing on getting me in shot of the camera first you're going to be all out of sync when it comes to staying yeah. back and getting that nice smooth I footage did find that coming around some of the bigger bank turns and then under an obstacle yep i'm sort of coming out wider trying to keep you yeah in, and then i'm speeding up too much yep exactly so this time don't do that focus on just getting your line tight yep. as well as communicating yeah, no worries. all right let's do it I'm taking off for a hover. Yep. We'll do the same line again, but you need to communicate to me and you focus on your line. So I'm gonna try and be nice and smooth so and very predictable. I'm gonna start the bank basically when I get there at that tree on the right. I'm gonna come around, but you focus on your line as well. A little right, and then this is probably the tricky bit. Now I'm gonna stay at this speed so straight off the bat, you can see Steve's flight footage is improving. We're communicating all the time. You would have seen that at the start of this flight. And he's starting to give me feedback as well. Like I'm asking him questions. I'm letting, he's letting me know how the speed's going, all that sort of stuff. And he is following his line. But you notice too, we're overshooting each other just a little bit, which is going to move into the next tip as well. So I've gone probably, oh, you hit me there. I did. So a little bit of communicating right on you. You need to say speed up, slow down. How did you find when we were communicating during that during that round and you were focusing on your line? Much better. Um, I guess this is gonna this is this is all perceptive because we got you guys are the judge watching this footage back. But yep. 
talking to you about what issues I'm having with following you because I'm the one that's chasing. Yep. I'm trying to get that good shot while maintaining my line is paramount. So I found that then talking to you saying, hey, Stu, a bit higher, a bit lower. Yep. A lot of things can come into play, like camera angle. That's, well, that's actually what our tip number three is yeah. right here. So you need to make sure both your drones are set up the same way, yeah. or at least the way of your flying is gonna be conducive yeah. to what that craft is gonna do. So the thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna match up our camera angles because that is one of the most important things, I guess, that dictates how fast you are going to fly your yeah. quad. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's do it. We're gonna show you now with tip number three, all about setting your gear correctly and the same in sync. So let's do that and show you the footage, see how it goes. Due from the future here, this might be the day that you decide to do it. If you care about your flying and you'd like to support my channel, there is actually a Patreon link down below, which has the director's cut of this video you're watching right now. It is a 25 minute episode, a full a deep dive, a breakdown of everything we're talking about, all the tips and the skills to push your flying to the next level. And as a bonus, you get to support the channel as well. So the links down below, let's roll with the video. I am about to take off, three, Two, one. Yeah, I'm back on you now. Perfect. All right, and then as soon as I get past here, I'm gonna go left. So left here, just cutting it along that way. All right, out a bit wider here for me. You focus on your line. How's this speed? That's good, mate. How are you getting that, those shots? Good. Nice and low. Is that too fast through there? Do I need to slow down? No, no, it's fine. I was just a bit high before. Yep. If that was the third tip, uh, syncing our gear together, so when making getting our gear right, so you've adjusted your white balance. Could you see a little bit better? How was it? Okay. I could. I also am wary of that spot as well. But okay. Little tip. Yep. Adjust your your picture as you need to. Yes. And I can see a lot better. So. What about having that same camera angle and being able to match the speed? Yeah. Did totally it did it suit better. your style of flight? Like it just the way that the drone felt cruising around. Did it make it easier to track where I was going and see and things like that? Yeah. Yeah, being able to not be under you looking up or down, gaining speed, you yep. know, pitching forward too much, it made a big difference. Yeah. yeah, and and for those watching at home too, because this is this is really important to stress, because this camera is fixed to the, if you want to be going, you cannot be going slow and looking down. Like it just doesn't work like that. This camera is in a fixed position. There's no gimbal or anything like that. So matching your speed in your camera setting is absolutely critical to be getting that good footage. All right. You want to hear the uh, secret to getting some of the best? This is a good one. So tip number four, this is where to get the, we've practiced a lot here. We've got some really good techniques. This one of the secrets of getting amazing footage is get as close as you can. Yeah. You, so you have permission to crash into me. I prefer just it if you didn't. Over the water. What I'm going to say is over that water part, just, just don't get the perfect footage over there. Stick to all the other things we've been practicing. But when it comes to around all this footage, I want you as close as possible, Steve. Yeah. Uh, really snudge it up in there and Easy. we'll see just how it looks. All right, reckon you can do it? I'll give it a crack. Okay, I'll let's it do it. Crack. That's what's important about today is we can see in 20 minutes yeah, the difference man. between not doing anything, just that first trying to chase each other, yeah. to just half an hour of talking and going through this. What's, what's this? What I've got to take you down, mate. <laughs> Get nice and close. Dog fight. All right, I'm arming. I'm arming. All right. Now this is where I think it starts to get really impressive. Once we're looking at all the tips we looked at in this video, you can see our communication and everything like that. We set our gear up, Steve's focusing on his line, and now he's trying to get as close as possible. I don't need to do too much commentary in this little flight right here, because you're gonna see like it's, it's a drastic improvement from where we started already. And then we've got our last tip coming up. So I'm just gonna let this roll, but you be the judge of this. Like, look how much better this footage is than Steve's first flights. All good? Yeah, mate. All right, next time when we're coming through that line, I want you Almost borderline crashing into me, all right? You all right? It's either success or success through a crash. Both are good options. All right, so here's where I really want... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you good? Yeah, I'm good. I just hit that one stick that's poking out. Yeah. All right, I'll go get that. Did, did, you, coming on you too. did you get that shot? Did you see me crash? Yeah, bro. All right, hang on. You bring yours in. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go out of the right, stay away from you. Yep. Did you get close in any of those shots, do you feel like? I did, yeah. Okay, yeah. and what about, was it lining up for that last one? I mean, that's... Uh... Well, that was lining up pretty good, and all I had in the back of my head was 
Follow your line, Steve. Follow your line. Uh, and then I saw you not follow your line. Uh, <laughs> I was just I cruising around. All right. So that is tip number four. Everything should be going well. Tip number five, and this one is pretty obvious, but it really is practice. Like it all comes down to consistency. You need, you, you look, you might chance that amazing one in a billion shot, but chances are, if you want to get it, you need to consistently work at it. So we're going to practice this a few times. We're going to talk about everything that we've, we've done. We've like, we've worked on our lines, our communication, setting our gear up, getting as close as we can. And now we just got to put it all together with it, a bit of practice and consistency. And we'll compare this. So this should be some of your best footage. We're going to do a few packs, cruising it around, and we'll compare that to what you would have seen at the start of the video. I'll put them side by side, and I'm sure they'll be night and day to our first flight. I already feel it. Yeah. To, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So let's do that. And then we'll uh, have your final thoughts on everything that you feel like you've learned today with those five tips. Cool. All right. Let's do it. How's this speed? I'm straight into it. Yeah. It's good. Okay. He's wide here. So everything we've worked on. Communicating, yeah. keeping our lines. You really focus just on your flying and incrementally push that closer and closer to mine. So I've got to go back to basics here and just work on my line again. Yeah, line, line, line. It really makes a difference. Through here. And where you find more comp oh yeah, that's fine. Let's talk. Right. You just yeah, I just pulled to the side again. That you no, that's fine. You just say, "Oh, I'm overshooting you," and I'll jump back to the front. It happens so quick. <laughs> right, oh, oh, that's a good shot. Just dropping altitude a little bit, staying wide. We're a slow drift in here. Yeah, that's a cool little bank into there. Right, oh, that's good, mate. I'm just right on you now. Perfect. All right, I'm going to stay this height, nice and slow, not slow, but nice and calm, I guess, and smooth, drifting out wide for that little drop in just here. I can see your shadow, it's looking good, and then really get up right here. Yeah, that is awesome. Okay. I guess it's, when you're following too, you're modulating a lot. Yeah, you're constantly shifting and changing. Yeah, but once you get your line, that was, oh yeah. Once you get your line, that was the fundamental to it. And then having the camera angle adjusted and everything. But you being consistent, having nothing else to focus on bar being smooth. Yes. If you can get if, your... If I'm as predictable as possible, it makes your job so much easier. Oh yeah. It is like, yeah, this is a good lap, dude. Yeah, that's a real good lap. Closer, 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 closer. All right, last one. Yeah, that was cool. All right, here we go, brother. This is it. I want that shot now, even if you crash into me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me get this thing. So Steve, number five, look, I got to say, I'm actually quite proud of you crashing into me because that's what I wanted. Like you're not going to grow without pushing yourself and yeah. that you need to get that practice in, you know, that's all a learning experience. How would you say you felt with those last, if I looked at those files, which you guys are going to see, how would you say those last files are, those last flights? Yeah, those last couple of laps were awesome. Just being able to keep it right up your butt yep. and just filming you the whole way. That sounds so inappropriate. I know, right? <laughs> Man, yeah. yeah, yeah, but yeah, okay, yeah. Rear, getting as close as you can. But all the, the little tips you've, you've said, coming from where I started at the start of the day to now, just been able to keep, like, keep working on my line, just making yes. sure that's consistent. Communication, Communication, talking all the time, back and forth, and that goes from the, the I guess, the lead pilot to the chase pilot yeah. as well. Yeah. Yep, we put our gear together, we locked that the same. Yep. And then the uh, last one about, if you want the footage to look as good as it can, you need yeah. to, like, it looks so cool. Yeah. Being a pilot too, when you're chasing someone, oh, like awesome. it looks amazing and it's actually even better when you're flying yeah. it. And you can see your teammate right in front yeah. of you. Like A it's... lot of guys like me, when I first started, I had no one else to fly with. Through the, the traps of life, I've met you and yep. we've been flying together, but it's also good to have someone who understands pushing the boundaries and isn't too concerned if, yeah, you do collide mid-air, whatever. You yeah, know. yeah, I, I mean... too protective. Uh, what we're doing with these things, you got to send some Yeah, you, you do right? need to take some... If you, that's, that's probably Steve's bonus tip there, number six, for you I didn't think about, because you're in that real position where, look, it's my job to review these drones, they get sent to me. 
you buy yours from the shop. You got to yeah, drop yeah. your hard-earned cash on them. So there is risk associated with it. The yeah. cooler the shot, the more risky it is that you're probably going to lose yeah. something. So in order to get that best shot and make it count when you have to, do these tips, practice them, and hopefully when it all comes together, you can walk away with that one in a million perfect shot that you deserve.